Gun crime is a problem in Canada, especially in our major cities, whether it's Toronto, Vancouver, or in Montreal, where violence against innocent people with, uh, with firearms is on the rise. Now, I think what we all know is it's on the rise because of gang violence, because of individuals who are involved with drugs, and because of illegal guns that are coming into the country. So what's the solution that the Liberals are proposing? Well, first of all, of course, they're proposing that politicians ban certain kinds of firearms, which of course will only penalize farmers, duck hunters, and rural Canadians, including Indigenous Canadians. But what common sense people, including police officers, who are actually the first responders, who are dealing with firearms crimes and gun crimes, what they would tell you is get criminals off the street, criminals who are involved in gangs and drugs. But guess what the Liberals are doing? They've just introduced a bill called C5. I like to call it easy time for a violent gun crimes bill, where they are now taking away mandatory sentences for 11 different firearms offenses. I'm gonna just tell you a few of the, uh, the key ones that have really got me fired up. Using a firearm in the commission of an offense. No more mandatory minimums for those. How about possession of a weapon obtained by the commission of an offense? So if you get a gun while you're in the middle of a crime, the Liberals say, don't worry, no, no, no hard sentences for you. Uh, weapons trafficking, no minimums for that. Possession of a pur for purpose of weapons trafficking. Importing or exporting, knowing it's unauthorized, so illegal gun smuggling. Again, the Liberals are saying, not a problem, C5, easy time for those violent gun criminals. Extortion with a firearm or robbery with a firearm. Folks, this is really worrisome. We have a Liberal government that and a Prime Minister who is, who is fake on pretty well everything he does, fake feminist, fake standing up for Indigenous people, fake when it comes to discrimination and treating people equally. But when he talks about gun crimes and firearms offences, he's come after law-abiding Canadians, and he said that a ban on guns will somehow fix the problem, while at the same time introducing legislation, and they'll probably force it through the House with the help of their friends in the NDP, and they are now going to lessen the penalty for individuals who are committing very serious crimes with guns. I'm gonna tell you, Conservatives won't stop standing up for firearms owners. We start, stood up for you and ended the long gun registry. We're gonna keep standing up for you. But even more importantly, we are not gonna go along with criminals getting off easy for committing crimes with guns. So if you agree with Conservatives that politicians banning firearms, which only penalizes farmers and duck hunters, or politicians implementing policy that reduces sentences for violent gun crimes. If you agree with conservatives that neither of those are good approaches to dealing with gun crime, I want to encourage you, call your Liberal MP, call uh, your representative, but also call your mayor, especially if you live in one of the big cities in Canada. Call your mayor because if a mayor would agree with this kind of policy, they need to be held accountable. And I guarantee you that any police officer, any frontline officer would tell you the best approach to dealing with gun crime is getting criminals off the street. C5 does the opposite. It, it's easy time for violent gun criminals. Let's keep standing up for law-abiding Canadians. Let's stand up for doing the right thing here in Canada.